So it's official. The Anaheim Ducks have traded Hampus Lindholm, Nick Delorier, Josh Manson, and Ricard Raquel. We knew this day was coming. We knew that sooner or later our Anaheim Ducks, especially Ducks general manager Pat Verbeek, will have to make some tough decisions in the coming days and weeks after he was hired by our Anaheim Ducks in a search committee to be named the sixth general manager of our team. I know that most of you, including myself, had mixed emotions as each day and news began to spread around that the Ducks were beginning to look at turning the page, moving forward as our team began to embrace the next generation of Anaheim Ducks going forward. I just want to say thank you to Hampus Lindholm for eight seasons that you have contributed to the Anaheim Ducks. Thank you to Josh Manson for the seven seasons, both on and off the ice, for your contributions. Thank you for, to Ricard Raquel for his nine and a half seasons wearing the Ducks D with honor and pride. And also thank you to Nick Delorier for the two and a half seasons and showing that fighting spirit each game when he dropped the gloves. To all four, I say thank you. And to these four players whose tenure has now ended, each of them have left an important mark on our team going forward. Lindholm has played 582 games played. Scored 57 goals, 165 assists, 222 points. Josh Manson played 453 games. 26 goals scored, 87 assists, 113 points. Ricard Raquel, 154 goals scored, 185 assists, 339 points. Nick Delorier, 17 goals, 16 assists, 33 points, 169 games played. Why I'm telling you this is because each player left their mark and their contributions is in their stats. No matter any, which goal they scored, which assists they record, which point they have earned in each of the games, whether it was a win, a loss, an overtime win, a shootout loss, you name it. One thing is very clear. Tough decisions were made and tough decisions were made for the good of the team. And I know that many lament and felt sad seeing these players go. Keep in mind, and I always say this, especially on the Ducks message board, the team always comes first. Players come, players go, but the team remains the same. All four of these players were involved in trades. And the Ducks receiving the assets and the players was something to talk about that makes me smile, knowing that our team, for the first time ever, is on the right track in a long time. I call these the on-ice reforms. And to be honest with you, these on-ice reforms and the assets our Anaheim Ducks have received under Ducks General Manager Pat Verbeek is the one that gives my two thumbs up. So with Lindholm, Manson, Raquel, and Delore departed to green pastures and future endeavors, the Ducks received four players, two prospects, 
and six draft picks. They consists of players from Boston in defenseman Urho Vakanilin. Excuse me if I, and I apologize for butchering the language. Defenseman John Moore, a first round pick in this year's NHL entry draft, a second round pick in the 2023 NHL entry draft, and a second round pick in the 2024 NHL entry draft. From Colorado, the Ducks received defenseman prospect Drew Hellinson and the second round pick in the 2023 NHL entry draft. From Pittsburgh, the Ducks received a pair of centers, Zach Ashton Reese and Dominic Simone, along with a prospect, Goalie Kelly Kag. From Minnesota, the Ducks receive a 20. 23 third round pick and from all together if you put it together it's a big great big haul a big um, receiving from our team I like it I really like it I really like it even now and for m most of you are wondering, why am I looking down here? It's the players and the assets our Anaheim Ducks have received. And looking at, the, at it once, twice, three times, it's something to smile about. Because it is the on-ice reforms that all Ducks fans are, were hoping for, including myself. I like it. I love it. I'm interested to see what... Pat for Beak is going to do with our Ducks in the offseason. But let's be very clear. As much as we lament about th these players being traded, it's always important to remember what they have done for the Anaheim Ducks and advancing the Ducks' cause. After this NHL trade deadline day, which our Ducks have become the big winners, and I and that's my honest belief and my personal opinion. The Ducks, over the next two years, will have eight draft picks this year. Nine draft picks in 2023. Eight draft picks in 2024. That's basically 25 draft picks total in two years. Expanding from 2022 to 2023 and 2024. I'm very happy with this. I believe that what we are seeing from the 14th of March to the 21st of March of the NHL trade deadline is the rebuilding and the rejuvenation phase. Stage one, as I say, more like a phase one process where the Ducks are ready to not only rebuild and, and begin the rejuvenation process, as we saw during this rebuilding season, but also getting these players, I hope, and I know, and, I, and the draft picks going forward, will help in the rebuilding process and the rejuvenation phase. Because the off season, we may see phase two, who knows? But what it comes down to is that these deals made by Ducks General Manager, Pat Verbeek, is the on ice reforms that we so eagerly wanted. Were the, did we want the players that we so hopefully desired in return? Not really. But at least the Ducks got the deals done. And Ducks General Manager Pat Verbeek, 
I give him a grade A. A plus and a thumbs up for a job well done. So far, we got to wait and see what he does next. Who knows? Next week, I'm going to cover, give you my response to Pat Verbeek's comments on the NHL trade deadline day deals and the players he acquired and the draft picks he's, he has received. That is my fan reaction. <laughs>